Okay, in this video I want to talk about finding the determinant of a 3x3 uh, three three matrix. So here's going to be my matrix A, um, and again the entries are A sub 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Um, kind of just again a generic way of uh, writing a matrix. And the notation is, you know, for the determinant of A, you can either write DET of A, or they put it in, um, looks like absolute value. And it says to compute the determinant of, of um, a 3x3 three three matrix, basically what you do is if you look at stuff along the top, okay, so I'm going to look at my A11. Basically the formula is you take that term A11 and I imagine kind of, uh, kind of canceling out that row, or excuse me, that column and that row, I think, what am I left with? I'm left with a, a smaller matrix, A22, A23, A32, A33. Okay, so I've got to take this coefficient A11 times this smaller determinant. And remember to calculate a smaller determinant, you multiply the diagonals and then subtract um, the product of the other kind of diagonal. So I assume if, you, if you're looking at a 3x3 three three matrix, you know how to do a 2x2, two two, but we'll talk about this in a second as well, just in case. So now we do the kind of the same thing. We look at the same, uh, same row, but we move over. Okay, we look at that guy. It turns out that there ends up, you have to change the sign, so it's going to be A sub 1, 2. And again, I think if I were to cover up that column and that row, the, um, the stuff that I would be left with would be the A2, 1, A2, 3, the A sub 3, 1, and the A sub 3, 3. Okay, looks like I'm running out of room here. And then we go to the last one as well. So, okay, so the same thing, I look at the A sub 1, 3. I imagine covering up that row and that column, and I'm left with the smaller um, determinant to compute A2, 1, A2, 2, A3, 1, and A3, 2. Okay, so this is kind of the, the, the basic formula for computing a 3x3 three three determinant. So, pretty tedious, um, but let's see if we can't, uh, can't do one here. So let's, let's come up with some specific numbers. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to make up a, a, a matrix at, at, at random. Hopefully the numbers won't be too terrible. Um, so, I don't know, how about 1, 6, 4... Um, I'm going to keep everything positive, just hopefully to keep uh, keep it keep it straightforward. One six four two seven three eight nine. Um, what are we missing? Five. How about five? Okay, so let's compute the determinant of this matrix. So again, it says the determinant, the DET of that matrix A. It says again, we look at the the first value. Um, which is a 1. And again, if I were to cover up that row and column, column and row, um, I've got to compute the smaller, um, the determinant of the smaller matrix, 7, 3, 9, 5. Again, it says we put a minus sign in the middle. Okay, if I look at the next entry, it's going to be a 6. So that's what I'm going to put in there next. And again, if I cover up that column with the 6, and that row, what am I left with? It looks like I'm going to be left with the 2, the 3, the 8, and the 5. And then to that I have to add on. Okay, so now we just move over. Um, my next value will be a 4. So if I cover up that column and that row, I'm going to have 2, 7, 8, 9 left over. Okay, so that's kind of the setup. So now um, all we have to do is compute the individual determinants. So remember to compute a determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. We multiply the top left and the bottom right, so we'll get 7 times 5. We put a minus sign in between there, and then we multiply the other diagonals, so 3 times 9. Then we'll get minus 6. We'll have to take 2 times 5, minus 3 times 8, and then plus 4. We'll have to take 2 times 9, um, minus 8 times 7. 
Okay, so now we're almost there. It's just a little bit of computation at this point. So we get 1 times, let's see, it looks like we get 35 minus 27. So 35 uh, minus 27. Let's go ahead and write it out. Minus 6. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 24. Um, plus 4 times, 2 times 9 is 18. Minus uh, 56. So 35 minus 27 is going to be 8 times 1. Um, 10 times, excuse me, 10 minus 24 will be negative 14. So we'll get negative 6 times negative 14. Um, let's see. So 18 minus 56, what is that? Negative, um, looks like 38 to me. So if we simplify this, we'll get 8. Two negatives make a positive. Let's see, what is that? 84, 6 times 14 should be 84. And then we'll get a negative 4 times 38. Um, so what's that? 152, it looks like. Okay, you can check my arithmetic here. Hopefully I'm not doing any crazy arithmetic. So 8 plus 84, that's going to give us 92 minus 152. So the determinant of this would be um, negative 60. Okay, assuming all my arithmetic is correct. So again, I think the main thing, uh, you know, is just knowing the setup again. Um, just take the first row, first column, and then again, you're just basically breaking it down to smaller determinants. Again, make sure that you notice that again the signs are positive, it's negative, and then positive. Um, it's easy to leave out. I think that minus sign, and then things don't quite work out. So, all right. I hope this video makes some sense and helps out. Uh, feel free to post comments and questions if you have them. Hopefully, me or somebody else can point you in the right direction.